Got a little project going on this Sunday morning. Micro inverters. So this is a Enphase IQ7 Plus. It does, uh, I think, 290 watts. They're basically meant to be one per solar panel on your roof. They all sync up with your grid power and start providing 240 volts on a trunk cable that will ultimately plug into your main distribution panel. So right now I've got one plugged into this 300 watt panel. But when you first start it up, this thing will flash green for a minute and then it'll flash red for I think like three minutes. And it's waiting to sync up with the IQ Envoy hub. If it doesn't sync up with a hub, then it starts flashing amber. And that means that it's just producing power without going through the hub for the communications. And I'll talk more about the hub here in just a minute. But what I have is I have this hooked up via this trunk cable temporarily into my pull pump timer panel. If you hook it up this way, essentially it'll produce power from the panel only when the, the timer comes on to run the pump. So the main pull pump runs about 1500 watts. And so we're well below that, maybe doing 300 watts max. So this pull pump will use up all the power generated by this microinverter, thus not even trying to export it to the grid. So when the timer goes off and turns the pull pump off, since this is wired in on the back side of the timer, then the microinverter will go off as well and not export anything to your grid. So that's something to think about, guys. You might be able to wire it up that way. One caveat is if your pull motor doesn't start, which sometimes happens because a lot of times here in Texas, we get so hot that the capacitor on these motors will die. They'll, like, they'll swell up and not work anymore and the motor won't start. Uh, in that scenario, you might actually start exporting power to the grid and if you're not set up to do that, then your power company is gonna be a little bit upset about it. Ultimately, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna hook this up and I would like to put panels up on the roof here to provide some power to run my pull pumps. So ultimately, I wanna do is have the in-phase IQ Envoy gateway monitor the current to make sure I'm not exporting anything to the grid. That has little uh, current sensing transformers you can put on the lines in here to see if you're exporting. You can have it set up to do zero export. And if it does start to export, then it'll, it'll shut down the microinverters. Let's see what we're pulling from the panel. So we're pulling 7.4 amps DC from the panel. Now let's check the AC side. And uh, excuse all this, this is not my doing. This wiring was here when I bought the house. <laughs> I've got to rewire this. It looks horrible. Uh, somebody broke the latch on this box and apparently it was open for years and just sun was beating in here. Uh, tearing, you know, deteriorating this, this wire. All right, so let's see. I'm doing uh, 9.974 amps. So let's calculate that. So 0 0.940 times uh, 240 volts is 225 watts being pushed in right now. Pretty awesome. All right, so like, uh, let's keep an eye on this. Oh, we're actually getting even more power now. Almost one amp. So that'd be close to 240 watts. So I'm gonna turn the pull pumps off and we should see this stop producing. Immediately. So the microinverter shut down because it lost grid. We'll see what it's flashing over here. There it is. Oh. Now it went from amber to red. I don't know if you can tell if that's red, but it is before it was flashing amber. And let's turn the 
pump back on. And like I said, it takes, it, seems, it usually takes a little bit for it to, a few minutes for it to start back up. Let's see if we can catch it start back up. It's flashing red. One eternity later. All right, there it is. Now it's amber. So now it's changed uh, from red to flashing amber. That means it didn't find the gateway, so it's just going to go ahead and continue on without it and produce power. Now I think that took about, gosh, anywhere from three to five minutes. Now we can go over here and see it's producing power again. 0.946 amps. So pretty neat, these things. Now let's take a look at the Envoy gateway. So this is kind of like the brain box. And it can communicate with these micro inverters and it does so over the trunk cable. Yeah, so this just wires in to the 240 where this uh, trunk cable will terminate. So you'll have kind of a, like a breaker panel and uh, you'll have a breaker for this box and then a breaker for the trunk coming in from your microinverters. And it, this will communicate uh, via the AC trunk cable line. And then it has a place to put your, your current sensing transformers. So there's a production spot and that's the, the the line coming from the the trunk line coming from the microinverters so it can determine how much total power is being produced and then it has the consumption so there's two consumption transformers that connect to this block and there's one for each line so like your L1 and your L2 so you can see how much power is being exported out so using that, I can tell it to, if, you know, if it sees any power being exported from my pull pump panel, then it'll, it'll shut down these microinverters. Unfortunately, this, this thing doesn't work. This is non-functional, so I've got to get another one. All right, guys, I just wanted to do a little video sharing what I'm playing with. I've never, like I said, I've never played with these microinverters, but so far I'm liking it does increase the cost but the simplicity uh, aspect of it is just really nice to be able to slap these on and have one ac trunk line you're not going to be dealing with dc arc faults or any kind of high voltage dc that's uh, going to be incredibly dangerous uh, i would say this is a much safer design actually Anyways, I think that's going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, I probably have more to come with, with microinverters in the future here. But for now, I'll catch you guys on the next one.